There we go. Welcome to your monthly overview for June. What's up? What's going on? We're going to do an early check-in for June, as said. But, like always, take it resonates. Leave it does not. If there's clearly more than one energy apparent to you on this board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one to one private, which is to say, they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Share me. Show me Virgo in June. Show me Virgo in June. Virgo in June. That has a certain poetry to it, doesn't it? Virgo in June. Show me Virgo in June. What's going on, please? Show me Virgo in June. What's going on, please? Show me Virgo in June. Okay, what's up? Okay, oh my, the tower, okay, seven of wands, yeah, eight of pentacles, okay, 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 you're like, I'm going to work through it though, four of pentacles, <laughs> seven of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and so you did, oh my, you took that very seriously, my, 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 you're showing me recovery, the wheel of fortune, the king of swords, the six of cups, and then I got a little something for you uh, further out that's sweeter, softer, <laughs> not so, ah. <laughs> so let me back up a second Ooh, we're launching right into june with look i'm busy okay and then some you know what came up last second and now i have to deal with it so when that tower comes in but i, I sincerely doubt it's june first i mean it could be how amazing would that be you let me know <laughs> but uh that's a little further out from your message but just fyi no that tells me it's coming in from may as well typically when we do monthly overviews there is something that's rolling in from the previous month. Very rarely is it like the first day of the month, right? So here we have the tower. Something came up that was unexpected. You immediately put your guard up, seven of wands, and you're like, right, we're going to deal with it. Eight of pentacles, boom, boom, boom. And then you have kind of delegated, or rather dedicated, I should say, yourself to the 3D world immediately after that point. You're like, some chaos came up. Proved itself to be difficult, faulty, I don't know, but you're like, seven ones, I got to deal with it. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, so you're showing me guards up instead of a suppression. There's like, there's no way you can avoid this tower. There's just no way. We'll take a look and see what it is. But your recovery after it, and it's recovery, is actually quite remarkable. So you got to work immediately. Uh, four of porn, excuse me, Four of Pentacles. Ugh. For those of you who are new, hello, hi, my name's Christina. Sometimes we get our words twisted up, yeah. Okay, four of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Nice, steady recovery till we feel more comfortable, okay? We feel a little more cushioned, we feel a little more padded, we feel a little more secure, we feel a little more safe. So you're showing me recovery, recovery, recovery from whatever that tower is. And so when you threw yourself into it, you stuck by it, you meant it. And then, like I said, a little further out, and this is one of the reasons why I like monthly overviews, people will show me a little bit of this, that, and the other. So you're showing me that as well, which is great. You have the Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords, Six of Cups. You have made up your mind over time, though. Granted, over time. So in other words, it's not just randomly occurring to you in June. No, no, no. The Wheel of Fortune, the time has passed a little bit. And you're saying you've now come to a conclusion, King of Swords, about a particular Six of Cups, possibly soul bond, or just kind of precious or old connection, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at that tower, see if we can help you out with that. Excuse the background noise, it's pickup day. Okay, let's see that tower, please. Show me the tower, show me the tower, show me the tower, show me the tower. You might notice I'm a little more active than usual. I've been having fantastic sleep lately, um, which is not something I'm... I'm a horrible sleeper. <laughs> I always have been. Uh, technically, I'm diagnosed insomnia. But uh, I've been sleeping fantastically these past several nights. It's something I'm not used to. So I'm, I have all this energy. Sleep is a wonderful thing. Uh, when you learn to kind of live without it, or be an inconsistent sleeper, you know, you're lucky to get four or five hours a night, that kind of thing. When you actually have a full night, you can feel it. You can feel it. Let's see that tower, please. Some of the tower, some of the tower, some of the tower, some of the tower, some of the tower. Let's do one more. Some of the tower, please. What is this tower here for Virgo? I may or may not clarify all of these. Some of them speak for themselves. Some of the tower, please. But no, we got to start off with the tower, honey. That's yeah. Oh. 
the world, page of cups, the knight of swords. Oh, God, there's an active, and I mean fast, withdrawal of somebody's participation. I don't even think they said bye on the way out. I don't even know what it concerns itself with, but uh, somebody withdrew their action or participation levels very quickly. So you open up in June to this knowledge, you know. If it's either you actively withdrew your participation in something and you did so without excuse or anything, you just rapid exit. Or you were subject to it. I feel you were subject to it because I see you doing a heck of a job trying to recover from it. So somebody here whose actions might have been deemed critical came across as unexpected. We were expecting someone's energy to arrive, sort, talk, work, act, I don't know. But it abruptly cycled out. This was unexpected to you. And you're like, I've been having to deal with it ever since. You've had your guard up. Frustration, double down boundaries, something like this. That was fast acting too. No heads up, no nothing. Just a rapid, excuse me, rapid withdrawal of someone's energy and efforts, specifically efforts, actions here. What's happened? Let's say that's a, uh, let's say that's seven of wands. You're like, no, no, this is not the time. This is not convenient. Let's say that seven of wands, please. Show that seven of wands. Let's say that seven of wands. I'm not seeing it as romantic, guys. No, it could be. Take it as it resonates. It just, it happened so fast. And the Knight of Swords, who is not equipped to handle emotions, just kind of action, communication. Let's say that seven of wands. Two of Wands, Decision, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, well, what happens next? You had to reinforce your standards, double down and say, we are going to get this done. We are going to get this. We're going to stabilize this situation. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Wands. So you went into activation mode quickly. When somebody actively, spontaneously, it almost looks spontaneous or just unexpected, withdrew their participation, their action, and their communication, you're like, right, we double down. Okay. I have certain standards. They need to be enforced in my foundation. That sense of stability, accomplishment. Uh, there's lots of things riding on this, not just me, right? Something like this. And you're like, what do I do? You're like, well, we're going to maintain standards. That's what we're going to do. You're saying, I'm not going to let one penny drop. We're going to keep on keeping on. And if that means we work around the clock or we double up on efforts, you're like, that's what's going to happen. So you're showing me stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. We're trying to compensate for somebody's rapid exit. I don't know how else to put it. But rapid exit, it was not expected. And I don't know what it is that you are working overtime to do. You're just like, the standard expectations apply. That does not change. Okay. All right, let's take a look. It, we went into work almost immediately. Eight of Pentacles. I'm kind of curious about that. I think it speaks for itself. But there might be something in there I'm not seeing. Let's see that Eight of Pentacles. We have to maintain stability. We have to maintain standards. Let's keep ourselves open to options. Let's communicate. Let's make decisions. You know, again, it's it's. I'm not going to allow one penny to drop. Everything will come forward as expected. Okay. Let's see that Eight of Pentacles from the Eight of Pentacles. The star, the page of pentacles. Yeah, six of wands. You're like, I will have success. I will have success in this. You made this very clear. You will not let your sense of standards down. Despite someone else having made a rapid exit and it was unexpected. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. But you're like, I will not allow one pentacle to fail. I will not. I have a dream, and I will be rewarded for this. So you have an end goal in sight. This is very personal to you. Whatever this is, this work level, so not only do you have certain expectations for yourself, you're also saying it's not just about me. 
it reaches into something much larger that is your foundation. So there's lots of people involved here. But you're saying you personally, it's a dream that's specific to you, and you're going to have success with it by God. So like I said, you've been doubling down and reinforcing your standards ever since. Okay? Uh, I see success for this. I do. Not just because you're willing it to have a certain outcome, but because you seem to be very familiar with whatever this is. You're saying, I will not allow it to fail. It means too much to me, and it means too much to others. So you're saying, lots of people involved. Lots of people are affected by this particular vision. It's not just you. Okay? And you're saying there's a certain sense of obligation as well as visibility attached to this. Okay? It's almost like you're saying it's your job to make other people's dreams come true. And you take pride in that, and this is unfortunate, but you will not allow this to fail. You're saying there's too much writing on it. And it's very respectable, Virgo, honey. Congratulations. Um, I have every reason to believe that you will be successful in this. Your own personal sense of recovery is here as well, okay? Uh, so it's a mix of both your personal sense of reputation, skills, and experience, and your vision crossing over, okay, into how it seems to help or translate others. So it's it's a mixed, there's this just a lot going on. <laughs> there's a lot going on. But you're doing a beautiful job of recovery and kind of sticking to the original output, you know. So I tell people all the time, when you start projects or you do anything new, begin with the end in mind. And uh, you already have an end in mind. Success. Success for all involved. You know, mishaps aside, you will not allow this to fail. Okay. All right, you have certain expectations. Um, again, I'm seeing it as being tied to work, but it's far-reaching consequences of work. You know, it's more than just clocking in and clocking out. There's something riding on this that goes beyond your just your own particular pair of eyes. Other eyes are on it as well. Okay. All right. Four of Pentacles. We're going to go ahead and skip that. I think it speaks for itself. You showing me conservative efforts, particularly time, energy, and effort. Seven of Pentacles. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles. Distributing your energy very carefully over the next uh, several weeks. Eh, like I said, most of this is rolling in from May and still showing me recovery and success by June. Okay. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles, please. But as this calms down, your own need to take care of yourself picks up. Okay. Again, indication to me of job well done, job achieved, despite the hardship that might have been attached to it. Okay, good job. Let's say that seven of pentacles, please. Nine of pentacles, four of cups, five of wands. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is something here where there is frustration. There is frustration, and you are doing your best to combat it because you're saying you know better, you're saying you're experienced, you're saying you got this, but you're upset. You are upset. Reasonably speaking, you're a Virgo who is upset. You're disappointed by the situation or circumstances. It shouldn't have turned out like this, but I honestly believe you're telling me I did the best I could given the situation or circumstance, but you're kind of pissed off. You're pissed off because there's this feeling that this, none of this should have happened. This, none of this should have happened. Okay. This should have been a successful something, a successful vision. Okay. And you are equal parts satisfied. Okay. Because you are speaking or leaning towards your sense of accomplishment, experience. Okay. You're not a rookie at this, but there is, you're frustrated personal at the personal level. So while you are getting back in touch with yourself and you're withdrawing more of this excuse me, I should say, leaning away from critical mass and more back into the sense of self, you're frustrated. There is something about all this that kind of left a bad taste in your mouth. You're saying that fight, those frustrations shouldn't have been there. This should have been a smooth thing. So I don't know who we're having a battle of wills with. Most likely the person that just kind of did a, well, I'm not participating. It was quite the shock. You rose to it beautifully. You did. So, so stop, please. All you can do is speak for yourself and your own actions. And you spoke very well for yourself in how you handled this and dealt with it. Yeah, part of you is going to be sour. I don't blame you. 
there's something in here that there's an echo. It shouldn't have been like this. It shouldn't have been like this. It shouldn't have been this hard. I know, but it was. And look how well you handled it. So please stop beating yourself up so much. You cannot control the actions of others or the inactions. All you can do is speak well for yourself. And you did. You did that brilliantly. You did it beautifully. Okay? So I know whatever this is was kind of like a bitter pill. Like I said, there's a sour taste in your mouth. And there's this whole thing I'm experienced. I, it shouldn't have done. It shouldn't have happened. But it did. It did. Why this didn't go down in the books the way you wanted to, I don't know. But you held to your vision and it all worked out. I see everybody being more or less satisfied by the end results. Because you're right. Whatever your work endeavors are here or your project endeavors are, I don't know. You're right. It's a vision that goes beyond you. You share it with many people. And I'm sorry that there was something here that greatly proved an absence. But I think you handled it very, very well. So I want you to ease up with that kind of post-bitterness. Okay? There's angst in there. There's frustration. And uh, it's like, this shouldn't have been a battle like that. Well, it was. But you came out the other side. Okay? So I'm glad that you are showing me a sense of self again. Okay? Leaning away from the we and getting back in touch with you. Um, you're not the first person to show me that. But I promise you, it really does look like you did the best you could here. And I think those people who were involved in this, whomever they might be, would they would agree. Okay? All right. Let's see that Queen of Pentacles. I want you to make more space for yourself. The King, Queen of Pentacles, they have that energy that says I need to take care of me first and foremost. Otherwise, I can't take care of others. Exactly. I think you need to spend a little more time with yourself. Okay? You need a little nurturing, a little caring. Okay? Take care of yourself. Don't get addicted to the burnout. Let's say that Queen of Pentacles, please. Uh, three of Wands, Three of Cups, the Ten of Wands. I know, I know you're looking forward to lighter days, and it feels like you can't access those lighter days. Okay, so then begin with the self. Everything begins with the self. Okay, spend more time with you particularly at the emotional level, because that's where you're showing me the most burnout, is not actually by your physical work, is by the emotional self. This is where you feel the most exasperation. It's like, ah, bitterness, ah, it shouldn't have been like this. But your performance says you accomplished what you needed to accomplish, despite the grievances there. That's what I'm saying. You're like, I want lighter days, I want happier days, I want to celebrate, I want to feel other things, and I, I keep looking out on the horizon and I can't feel that. Spend more time with you. Everything begins with the self. I want you to feel good about spending time with yourself and then maybe look externally to connecting to other people at a lighter level. Something that has nothing to do with work, something that has nothing to do with project orientation, circumstances, or community. Just maybe try to sell, excuse me, not sell yourself. I don't want you to sell yourself on anything. I said, try to set up for yourself emotional experiences for you, okay? Have some time with you, quality time with you, and say, these things please me. This feels good to me. This is what I feel good about, okay? I want you to use some of that I language with yourself first. I feel this. I don't want to feel this. I do want to feel that. I don't want to feel this. Spend some emotional time with you first, and then maybe look outwards to having brighter and lighter connectivity because right now you just can't see it. No, no. Take this time for you, okay? Um, I know you want to connect and I know you, yeah, I know, I know. But uh, show yourself that lightness first, okay? And that sense of, think of it as quality control. Give yourself that quality control first. If everything begins with itself and it does, you know, feel good with you first. Then share that with someone else. All right? I, I know. I know. I think this, whatever this is, you having worked so hard to compensate, probably swung pretty hard in a particular direction. So let that settle down. Okay? Let it settle down. Okay? Being alone or having alone time is not a crime. I don't know why it got translated to that, particularly in Western society where everybody's like, be extroverted all the time or something bad will happen. No. Let's just, you get comfortable with you first. Okay? Um, there you go. It's all right. It's all right. You'll have lighter days. And in fact, 
Let's take a look at that. Will the Fortune King of Swords Six of Cups? Because time having passed, something's caught up to you as being a truth that you can deal with now in regards to a connection. So let's take a look at that. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. Show me that Wheel of Fortune, please. Show me that Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> you have this faraway look on your face. Man, I really want to connect to other things, though. Something that's fun and happy, and it's so hard. Yeah, I know. Have some time with yourself. Okay? All right. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. No. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. Show me that Wheel of Fortune. Okay, six of pentacles, and three of swords, eight of pentacles. Okay, okay. Time has passed. <sighs> yeah, it's... I know. You're showing me dissatisfaction. Time has passed, and balancing things and working so hard is not all it's cracked up to be. No, it's not. You're showing me a space in your heart that keeps coming up as longing and hurts, and it wants to connect to emotional enrichment. And I'm telling you, you need to pull yourself aside and spend more time with you. It, I, I feel like you're that Virgo. You threw yourself in a practical 3D world, and it's like it's supposed to make up for all the areas in your life, and it's not. And you're saying that for yourself. Don't get me wrong. Work is important. We all have bills to pay. We all have obligations in this life. The 3D energy will always be important. Um, how we secure ourselves, what we understand that to look like, all that, that's, that's not going to go anywhere. But that also does not summarize everything we are as human beings. You're, there's parts of you that are very reminiscent of something else that says, I want emotional quality outside of work, outside of constructive efforts, outside of endeavors, outside of material security. And you keep showing me ache there. I miss emotional quality. I miss emotional connectivity. I wish things to have deeper, excuse me, deeper meaning. And it's like work is not all it's cracked up to be over time, and it doesn't completely demonstrate who you are. No, it doesn't. Okay? It doesn't. There is an emotional side of you that really wants to come forward and connect to others. I'm just saying I think you could do with some time to yourself for a minute, especially after all this, and get in tune with that feeling. What is it that you feel that you are missing in your heart space? What is it you feel that's not happening that you want to happen. Okay, let's see that King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords. <clears throat> well, you know, it's it's bringing to mind that old line from the signing, all work and no play makes Virgo a dull boy or girl, you know? And there's truth to that. There's absolutely truth to that. You betcha. Let's see that King of Swords. It's almost like an annoyance you can't quite put your finger on for the Virgo I'm looking at. I see that restlessness in you to emotionally connect. And you're saying right now it's too hard. I believe you. Four swords, so we need to rest, hanged man, the ace of cups. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I want you to rest on your heart space, honey. What does your heart tell you? Because it's been trying to talk to you for a hot minute. And I understand that sometimes it's just not a good time to connect. And sometimes we get stuck in this position of it seems like nothing's going on. Well, nothing's going on because we're not prepared to engage in something, even if something was going on. Is that restlessness in there? The 3D world isn't always satisfying to you. You find parts of yourself missing. You want to fill it. I see you back away from it. That's what I'm saying. You need more time to yourself. I want you to sort through your feelings and kind of understand what it is you want to connect with and why. Because it's there. I keep seeing you point at it and then you're like, but not yet. You know, there's always work. I know there's always work. Like I said, that's not entirely the sum, summary of who you are. So I want you to rest on this Four Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Cups. What is your heart space trying to tell you? Because it is trying to talk, and this is what I'm talking about. I, I need you to take more time for yourself. 
don't connect just for the sake of it because you want to do something different or force the situation. It's not right. It's not satisfying. It's not. You can do that with work. And we already see where that doesn't take you emotionally. So it's not working. There's something deeper here that you want to connect with. The social engagement and how you've been experiencing a community and friends, I'm sure it's lovely, but it's you, you want more than that. I see it here. So rest on it. Four swords, hanged men, the ace of cups. You already know time has passed and you've been keeping yourself very busy at work, but it's not satisfying. I see the restlessness. No, no, no. There's something deeper here you want to get in touch with. It's your heart space specifically to love, to be open to love, to be in love, or to just feel deeper feelings for yourself. So four swords hang then. Translation, rest and reflect on it. That's it. But you need to make that conscious decision of it. Because I see what you will learn in here will likely affect how you experience this. That six of cups, let's talk about it. What's going on with that six of cups, please? Show me that Six of Cups. Temperance, the Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups. I have someone connecting to you halfway. or would like to. There's the proposal here in it. I have someone who can match their energy. Someone who is determined to emotionally detach from you. They're saying that they are willing to override that decision if it means healing with you. Okay. So this is someone whom we're reflecting on. Again, I don't know who this is to you. But they represent that ache, I believe, that runs deeper than the kind of casual causality between yourself and your everyday environment it sustains up until a point but it's not very fulfilling so whoever the six of cups is represents a deeper emotional sense of fulfillment the one that we need to rest on okay and understand what that means for you in the heart space and why we're kind of aching for it okay i have someone else here that says that they would bond with you again okay over again a sense of healing um, whatever detachment they experienced, they would make the conscious decision as the Queen of Swords to go back to this and um, try to connect with you again, to heal with you um, at the emotional level, possibly in some way. But yeah, they said they made the conscious decision to emotionally check out. They said they, they could override that given temperance, time and healing between you two. Um, I see you reflect on this. This is that connection, I believe, Represents to you a deeper sense of emotional fulfillment that, like I said, the common causality of your connections here just don't hit. They don't hit right. This one does hit right. Okay? So FYI, that could potentially be on the table between yourself and that person a little further out in June. But I do see someone willing to meet you halfway if you understand that that's what you want. Okay? So look, they look as level-headed and determined as you. It's like, if I mean it, they have a similar, I wouldn't do it unless I meant it either. So that might help you. That might guide you. I just know that what you've been doing, while it's demanding, and you rise to the occasion beautifully, and you respect the vision attached to many, it's not the same as emotional fulfillment. Okay? That's where that sense of detachment's coming from. That's what I'm saying. I want you to spend more time with yourself. Where is that ache coming from? Pinpoint it, identify it, look at it, feel it. And that's what I see you doing. What else, please, for Virgo? Let's get some advice, please. Let's do one more. Yeah. Number nine. Dances, one f dances on one foot, the balancing act. Oh, I couldn't have picked a better... And that's also your power number, I believe, is nine. I'm sorry, honey. I don't remember. 
I'm trying to look at it. It does happen. Sometimes I glitch. I don't mean to. But for some of you, nine might be an important reference regardless. Uh, dances on one foot, the balancing act. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, a thousand percent. I can see that for you, particularly at the opening. Because when I saw you maintain standards that have now become precarious in nature because someone did a rapid, unexpected... What that someone is, they're not the main gig. Okay, they're not the main story. They're not down here. This is somebody who we expected action from until they no longer showed up. But you're like, I'm going to maintain standards. I don't care. My standards will not deviate or this will be successful. It's not just my vision here. It's other people's. And after the successful completion of that, I see you're restless as an individual. I agree that you need to conserve your time, energy, and effort. It's been well spent, well earned. But I would challenge you. And you're going to go through a couple of weeks or so of poking yourself emotionally. And why do I feel emotionally restless? I finally have some time to myself. I, I'm frustrated. There's a sour taste in my mouth. What is going on with me? You know. You know. Okay? Just poke and prod that heart space a little harder. That's all. But yeah, but and dances on one foot. Absolutely. Oh, I can see that some of you are able to accomplish quite a bit on one foot, you know? Never mind with two. I understand. All right. What else, please? Number 21, the first breath, the beginner's mind. Oh, yes. Fascinating. And number 32, jeweled web connectivity. I oh, know. Some of you are quite good at the connectivity thing. Not everybody is. You know, I'm quite good at, say, emotional connectivity. But then you do the Ten of Pentacles, 3D connectivity. It's different. It's a different tax bracket. For instance, I can handle or people who tend to be, you know, emotionally inquisitive. We can handle lots of people's emotions and see how they tie and work with each other. You have that ability, but in the 3D. So I can see that this is your prize. This is your baby, number 32. Jeweled web of the connectivity. I know this is a source of pride for you, inspiration. You're saying, this is my gig. This is what I do. I make things come together. I believe you. It's not just your vision. It's your vision is part of your responsibility. And that is to make sure other people's visions come through as well. You shine very brightly. I know. And that's why you said, I will not allow the standards to fall or diminish. I still have a job to do. Uh, first breath, beginner's mind. Now, this is interesting. The only time I see that a reference is down here with the King of Swords when I clarified them. The Four of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Cups, the Beginner's Mind, not tr really trying to listen to that heart space and not take it for granted, being open minded towards it. It might mean seeing your heart space and your feelings in a different way. And so you kind of have that first breath. Okay, let's talk about it. Number 21. Okay. Oh, that jeweled web, I couldn't have pulled a better card, honestly. That um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I get it. For this program I'm looking at, it makes perfect sense. I know, you are very resourceful. I see that. Number 34, the fish, resourcefulness. You're very resourceful. Uh, I think you have a high level of connectivity rate. It's not the same as personal emotional satisfaction and who you connect to at the personal level. Like I said, all work and no play. But you do connect with other people, resourceful, share the wealth, the abundance. Everybody gets whatever it is that you do, everyone benefits. Okay? Everyone gets fed at the same time. Okay. And there's, a, there's 32. Is 32 an important number for some of you that's here twice? There's that despair, that sense of, there's that sour taste in the mouth right there, what we would associate with the four of cups, the five of cups right here. Back when you're more, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still recovering. Back when you are, can now, you can take more time for yourself and you're showing me individuation, there's that sour taste in your mouth right there, that sense of despair. Now, I don't know if it goes into that space that deeply, but it's that sense of loss, remorse. It shouldn't have been like that. Why am I still aching for something? I finished this. It's a job well done. There's more to it. I, there's, there's parts of you that you miss deeply. Okay. At first, I was in reverse. No deep communication. Okay. 
that's 12. It could be like this. The lines of communication could open up. Okay. With a little bit of wisdom, insight, I did see, but we have to know that we want this. We have to know that we're going to aim ourselves towards this, the compass 16. So where is this possible? The owls, the representation of logic, reasoning, rationality, but at length. Where did we see this? Like I said, two intelligent people who could open up and communicate very effectively and exchange knowledge. I did see them as being willing to turn around on their decision and connect with you halfway if you were open towards it. But who would actually drop that communication and be the wise owl? I do not know. Okay. But yeah. We'd have to know that we wanted to point in that direction. Number 16. All right, Virgo honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.